Here we are in our example form 1040 populated with Lacert tax software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but it's a great tool to run scenarios with. You can also get access to the form 1040 related forms and schedules at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov, starting point. Single filer, Mr. Anderson, living 90210 Beverly Hills, 100,000 W-2 income, which is way over the threshold for the earned income tax credit. But that's our traditional starting point, so that's where we'll start. We've got the 12,950 on the standard deduction, 87,050 for the taxable income. Page number two, calculating the tax at 14,774, 15,000 for the payments. That gets us to our 226. Let's go back to page one. We want to think about an earned income tax credit if we had three qualifying children or more because the earned income tax credit doesn't give any more benefit past those three children. So we'll think about that. Remembering that you typically want to think about the curve in terms of how high your income is and what the maximum credit will be per uh, area or per level of one child or zero children, one child, two children, three or more children. And then it's slightly different as well if you're married or not married, although it's not doubled when married. And therefore, especially when we get up to these higher numbers of children, you can imagine if three, if someone that had three children that had head of household filing status married another person that had three children of head of household filing status, that there could be a significant decrease in the benefit from the earned income tax credit because the credit doesn't change in terms of the maximum credit. It's at the 6,935 and the maximum income threshold doesn't double, but only goes to the 59,187. And you're not gonna get any more benefit from the, the three kids. Now you'd have six kids, right? Instead of, and you're still gonna cap out at three kids in order to get a benefit. So we'll take a look at that as well. And we'll try to plot out kind of a graph of what this looks like. So it's kind of interesting. Just wanna point out that on those major life events, on the lower income side of things, if you're dealing with the child tax credit or getting a child tax credit and the earned income tax credit, it kind of seems like the credits are designed or intentionally or unintentionally to kind of disincentivize marriage in some cases. So you'd want to think about whether or not it would be, you know, you want to take that into consideration. Uh, so it's not like a shock. Uh, and so we'll take a look at that. On the higher income side of things, marriage is usually beneficial because most things double on the higher income side like the standard deduction doubles and the tax tables double okay so we'll dive into that as well all right so we know that when we add three children that's going to be basically moving us if we were single to head of household status so let's do that first all right so mr anderson now head of household status i'm not married three kids we've got joe a uh, joe that should be jill joe jill and then we just started naming them by numbers after their child number three. And then, so that means that our standard deduction went up to 19,400. We still don't get the earned income tax credit because of course we are over the income threshold in order to do it. The maximum income threshold to get anything would be close to 60,059,187. So let's do our graphing thing so that we can basically see as our income goes up, what happens to this credit with three or more uh, children. So I'm going to go back on over and say, all right, let's bring my income. Let's do increments of 5,000. Let's start it at 5,000 and see what happens. Okay, Passando, we're going to say that we have uh, 5,000. And so obviously our 19,004 is greater that, than that. So no taxable income, but may still get a benefit from the earned income tax credit because it's refundable and it's at the 2261. So let's go ahead and graph this out. So here we have wages 5,000, 2261. Let's bring it up to 10,000. We'll just do increments of 5,000 and bring it on up just to graph it on out. Bring it on up to graph it on out. I'm gonna get rid of the 15,000 withheld just so we don't have to deal with that. And that's gonna give us the uh, 4511. So let's say, okay, now it went up to 4511. The maximum is 69. So let's six, nine, three, five. Let's go up to 15,000, 15,000, 15,000. Can I get a 15? Can I get a 15,000? There we have it, 15,000. And that results in to six, seven, six, one, not at the max yet, 
six, seven, six, one. Let's go to 20,000, 20,000. Can I get a 20,000, 20,000, 20,000? Do I see a 20,000 at 20,000? We get the 6935, that's at the max now. So that now we're at 6935. Let's go to 25,000. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25,000. And bring that on over. That's at now the 5904. So we're gonna say, all right, now it's going back down. 5904, oh, that's 25,000. 30,000, 30,000, 30,000. Let's do that. Boom. That brings it to the 4851. So 4851, 35,000, 35, 35, 35,000, 35,000. I should have just, there it is. That brings it to 3798. So 3798, 40,000. We're getting close to the upper threshold. It's going back down now, of course, as income goes up, not 400,000. That's too many zeros. It's only one too many. That's too many. 2745, only one too many. Crying out loud. Now you got two little zeros here. Man, you're lucky. This is just a practice problem. Ridiculous. All right, calm down. For 45,000. 45,000. Let's see what happens then. 1692. 1692. Let's go to 50,000. Almost there. 50,000. Boom. Okay. So now we're at 639. So 639 and 55 thousand is going to be over the threshold for single it's it's a uh, higher for married but it's 55 thousand that should be over the threshold and that should take it to zero boom okay so just to get an idea so when you see this graph it it says you know it caps out here but really you're not going to get that full credit at the agi cap that's when it goes basically to zero you don't get anything if i was to graph this Let's do ahead and insert the graph to get a pictorial representation. Because pictures, I like pictures. That's how I understand stuff. So <laughs> we got as the income goes up, the amount of the credit store credit store credit store credit goes up. It caps off at that uh, six nine three five around the twenty thousand, and then it goes back down again. So there we have it. And so then uh, I can I can compare that to what's on our 1040 instructions, similar process, except the instructions are, you know, have a lot more plot points, right? So if we had three or more, three or more over here, then as our income goes up, then the amount of the credit goes up, goes up, goes up. We're over here, three or more incomes going up, the credit goes up. And then we're still going up over 12,000 of income. And then it's going to cap out at that 6.9. So it's still going up. And then it caps out at 6.935, which is around the 15,400. And then it stays there for some time. Stays there for some time. 6.935 until you get to 20,200 about, and then it starts going back down. So if I look at our graph here, 